Hello and welcome back to Let's Try It. It's been a minute, hasn't it? Um, we're trying Hattie and Tactics. I've played this game before. You can check out my previous Let's Try of it. However, it has reached 1.0 and I thought I'd come back. I haven't played this game in a while, but um, it's game like, games like Hattie and Tactics that keep me coming back to the, the roguelite genre. Um, it did a really good job of blending uh, auto chess kind of uh, mechanics with a the roguelite genre kind of like uh, slay the spire uh, meets you know what do you want to call it um team fight tactics but uh yeah no i really liked this game and i want to see what um the new or 1.0 version looks like uh i think i did basically this guy what is this called the the inquisitor so we could do the executioner i suppose or we could try the nightshade why don't we try the nightshade because i don't think i've tried them before We'll see what's new. Uh, it may look very similar to uh, to uh, my original video, but uh, you never know. There might be some new new stuff, new mechanics that I haven't seen before. Your arrival in hell was foretold. This was once my hallowed domain before my wrath will... So, listen, I, I don't need an excuse to uh, grab a bunch of cards and uh, beat up a bunch of guys. It's, it's all good. So we've got our first roll here. We've got Malefic alliance whenever a unit dies malefic uh units gain 10 mana whenever non-ephemeral uh, ephemeral ally dies it comes back as one clone and then whenever an enemy ally uh, enemy takes damage from a card or receives an ailment that is not decay they receive there's a lot of things going on here uh let's take toxic one let's let's just assume for a moment that toxic is is all about stacking toxic and, uh, you know, I can get behind that. I can definitely get down, uh, with the sick... Oh, God. Uh, all right, listen. Um, I'm pretty okay, not terrible, not, not great at, uh, auto tactics games. I think they're a lot of fun. Um, apply 75 might. And I mean, like, you know, you can... I think you can turn your brain off for this game. I think it's, it's fair to say that. That being said, I have... I, I think I have won one game but i've mostly lost a lot of games i uh you know these these kind of games have a lot of stacking effects and it can make it really difficult to figure out what you're supposed to do that's where uh, i'm a huge fan of games like uh gunlocked which is not even really the same genre but you know it's the it's the low roguelite genre um, you could say that is very transparent about synergies. I actually really appreciate it when games just kind of tell you, hey, by the way, these two things synergize and, um, you know, they're going to stack. I think that auto chess games are good at that because they they will generally tell you like, hey, uh, you know, these guys are part of a faction. The more of those in that faction you get, the more you're going to, you know, more damage you're going to do. Transform all your cards in your hand into trigger. Trigger all allied traps stable. Eh. Uh, so we're all about traps. For one turn, draw one extra card and gain one energy. Thinking ahead, huh? When activated, applies 75 shield to all surrounding allies. Deplete. Um, let's take thinking ahead. That seems like it's just going to support whatever build we go for. I don't want to settle on a build just yet. So we've got our uh, tiny fluffy hell hellhound here. They're, they're going to let me either pet them or remove a card or keep your cards so we'll, we'll you know we got to pet the hellhound uh, can we get can we get a hellhound in the comments because i did that can't say no to that little face remove a remove a card okay let's remove a card um let's get rid of maybe dagger throw you always want to be getting rid of your base cards because you want to replace them with better cards that's how these things work um, and I mean, I'm generally going to be applying our buffs to our main character. Uh, that's going to get us more, uh, you know, they're, they're going to be doing the most damage, I think, probably in the beginning. And, uh, I mean, we can put our, like, very likely these guys are going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting or taking out the brunt of damage. Yeah, I guess you don't discard your hand, um, so you, you get to keep whatever you didn't play, which is nice. No, nope, never mind. I'm completely wrong about that. For one turn, draw one extra card and gain one energy. So we'll do that. And then we have cards like this. This is a uh, this is where we kind of blend the roguelite, like deck building genre with the 
uh, auto chess part is um, we have the ability to push the you push units in one direction or another direction uh, position has a you know has a big role in these kind of games and that's sort of where they lose me I'll be honest uh, that's where I start to um, basically play abysmally bad because I though I do know how to maybe synergize a couple of things together I do not know how position really relates too much in uh, in auto chess games and that's why I am not an auto chess uh, channel but you know I'm sure if I gave it uh, give it a, enough practice I would figure it out apply 20 DK on all enemies uh, deals the amount stacked as damage every second then goes down to one now, I believe did we not just get a thing that that applies uh, toxic Whenever an enemy or decay, yeah, whenever an enemy takes damage from a card or receives an ailment that does not decay, they receive five decay. Okay, so stacking on decay seems like a very good thing. It seems like it's maybe our our uh, what we want to do. I'm gonna go to this camp. We're gonna upgrade a card. We'll upgrade the card we just bought. Maybe thirty decay. That sounds good. I always love uh, in these you know kind of games. I, I love getting some kind of fancy card and then upgrading it right away but we do want more units um we are going to want more units in our in our uh set let me see non-ephemeral uh hunter line when a hunter uses a skill all traps in the board we know those traps we're not really doing traps yet all healing effects are 20 percent stronger i mean we can just take something um what are these guys draugr they don't i don't know if they have uh really like factions just yet oh i guess i took something okay we took something um and i forgot to okay we didn't we didn't i didn't forget um i almost forgot to not take them off the bench i don't know we can only have three of three that's uh that's where we have to like kind of level up our selves it's a weird auto chess um you know there's there's things kind of that that gate you a little bit i'm gonna throw down our might onto our main character um, and then, um, I guess I'll start dealing damage because we want to set down decay, right? So that's guy, that guy's got decay, deals the amount stacked as damage every second, then goes down by one. Okay, so that's what decay does. It's basically poison. We've got our, uh, what is this, a harpy? We've got the harpy, uh, hitting this guy. They're doing basically no damage at all. Um, we'll throw... 30 decay on all enemies seems like a good idea and then we'll uh grab that so we can draw some more cards and, and, and you know have some more energy in future turns looks like we're doing some better damage now the harpy has laid an egg huh what is that a, their ability summon one egg at the, of the t uh, same level as the caster seems good i'm gonna go ahead and throw some uh armor on all of our dudes and I'll, i guess i'll throw down some uh, an attack because that'll give them stack them some more decay on there so they're taking a lot more damage over time now our uh, draugr has taken a lot of damage i'm probably gonna have to bench them after this is done so yeah um our whole deal i guess right now we might actually start want to get rid of might cards because it seems like doing like raw damage is actually better because then we're stacking decay damage removes 100 mana from all enemies so okay we're getting uh, items as well that's that's another thing to keep an eye on summon this unit to an empty tile deplete put one random trap in your hand for one turn every time a unit gains might it also gains plus five damage this is an interesting one but i think i'm actually going to skip those those don't seem to build into anything well, what did we get defying feather allies take 25 less percent and less collision damage enemies take 25 percent more collision damage the start of the battle adds a random slide card with a cut okay there's a lot of things going on there i'm sure i will figure it out or i will not and then i will just you know pretend i understand <laughs> it's it's good that'll work too um our draugr let's unbench our draugr and then you know we, we we can swap them in and out um okay we'll go ahead and throw our might down on our main dude and uh or you know I guess I don't know what their their preferred pronouns are, but you know whatever. We're gonna throw down uh, some damage on Mr. Snake, and I guess I'll throw down some more might. It's fine. These are free. I guess it wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's just like push them, push this guy towards us, 
And that actually does damage as well. I forgot that when you push them into your allies, it does damage. But it, that, did, that, that did damage to us as well. So maybe not great. But uh, it is free. But the, the thing that matters to me is that it said deplete. So therefore, we don't have to worry about that card showing up in our hand again. Is You know, if I'm not using it, I may as well use it, if that makes sense. Um, I'll throw down some armor on our main guys so that they are no longer in danger because they did take quite a bit of damage there We did lay an egg. I'm, I'm wondering when that egg will actually, you know, do something But I don't think we're gonna find out because I'm about to blow through this guy Done All right push the unit in any direction. So we got a queen. Car oh, it literally is called a queen slide Transform all cards in your hand. Metamorphosis. That sounds kind of cool, actually. Let's take that. And I kind of want to draft. Heal 30%, max health, and remove ailments of all your units. I mean, that's fine. I'd prefer to upgrade our card. This card seems to be really good, um, just in general. So I'm going to go, like, just, it's just good utility. We're going to get a random relic, maybe? Amber ta a trapped centipede. Alliances stay active after the unit dies. Is this just a... Oh no, that is actually a permanent effect. Wow. Um, we can upgrade a unit. I kind of just want to try and draft because we still don't have anything that synergizes. Every time you play an enchant card, all units in your party gain plus 10 mana. Um, this is a draconic alliance. Every time an ally gains might gain 15 dragon tail. This is where things like you, you start to sense, uh, suss out the synergies. Every time you play an enchant card, all blah, blah, blah. Uh, remove all chance. That's, these are their skills. They only uh, deal these when they have enough mana to do so. Impl applies to endure. I'm not really a huge fan of any of these. Okay, we'll take Mighty Preacher. May as well take something. Whatever we take is going to be better than our Draugr. Maybe. And actually, our, our main hero is not doing so well. We'll put them in the back. Uh, and then we'll also give them some shield. And I'm gonna just go ahead and apply that um, decay right away. Wow, this guy like zoomed right up, huh? It's a good thing I put arm. Did I put armor on our dude? I don't know if I did. Okay, we'll apply some uh, shield ally on uh, only on our ally, and then let's see what we can, we can transform these guys. Apply 30 might, and this will let us um, summon a dude. So we can like maybe uh, you know play the slot machine on our cards rune of defense we're getting a whole bunch of runes that i'm not using at all summon this unit to an empty tile deplete i mean i guess i guess as long as i'm not getting very good cards uh or, or allies to summon i may as well um we could upgrade that it only if we upgrade it it only costs three uh, not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. Um, let's upgrade our dagger throw and that'll actually almost to double its, its damage. Take the, get the bazaar. Enemies take 25% more ailment. I think that uh, decay counts as an ailment, so that actually might work out really well for us. Um, we're not going to be able to play the flames flame wolf because uh, at least i'm not unless i play that other card first the one that gives me plus one energy i'm just gonna like i don't know whip, whip guys around a little bit um i'll give three might to our main dude see how that goes wow that was a lot of damage that i guess that's what might does is it their next attack does like a ridiculous amount of damage um we've got our big nuke spell so let's go ahead and throw that down push an uh unit in a specific direction i'm just wondering if i push this guy diagonally no that wouldn't work we could push this guy but i don't think that would do much so let's actually like transform all these remove all decay from the target heal five times the value removed as damage that's actually quite nice let's like use that right now um apply five infectious for five seconds for one turn every time a unit gains might these are good cards um in different decks <laughs> And not my deck. I forgot to swap out some guys also, so we're gonna go ahead and play those two. They're they're pretty safe cards to play. Guy took 69 damage, nice. Alright, everyone gets some health back at the end of combat, which is nice. Getting another acid rain would be kinda cool. 
Um, for one turn, apply every time a card is played, apply 25 shield to all allies. This is a really good card if you have a deck that uses a lot of zero cost cards. Kind of want to just like rest. Let's just rest. Yeah, that, that got us. That didn't even get us to full health. That's how you know that's a good move. Um, okay, so none of our movement cards right now are going to like do any damage to anyone. It'd be kind of nice. So let's just apply 30 damage to everyone and we'll apply 75 damage to one of these guys because I, you know, I just want to kind of get them uh, get them out of the way as, much, as, as quickly as possible. They're taking a lot of damage right away. And I do like how we kind of get turns in this game. It's kind of a weird way they've split the difference between a deck building turn-based game and, um, you know, a, a auto chess, like real time strategy. It's it's interesting, like it, it's it's a difficult thing to do. But the fact that we have like turns that are um, that take place between kind of like real time rounds, it's a tricky thing to do and balance. And I do know that there were cards that would basically uh, like decrease how long it would take between rounds. So you get to play more cards, basically. I should play some more armor, but I want to stack that decay as much as possible. We might die here. So this guy came back as an ephemer ephemeral clone. We have five energy now. Um, let's go ahead and throw down some armor and some... Well, actually, before we do might, this is 125 damage. Let's throw that down on, like, the big bad so they get even more stacks of decay can we do anything let's uh, throw this guy like in this direction force our allies to come towards them a little bit i think our uh, ephemeral clone is taking damage over time right now uh, let's give them some shields see if that helps them no they're just they're just dead I think that the big bad is summoning more bads. Too bad we we're never going to be able to summon this wolf. Not unless I actually upgrade it. Like, you know, it, it's only going to be playable if I can upgrade it. If I can get some more energy, that'd be good. Okay, choose one. For one turn, decay goes up by 10 when triggered. Um, that is actually really good. I don't think anything else can compete with that. Let's take that. Lost Relic, gain one energy, plus one every energy every turn. Upon pickup, gain a party slot. Uh, this is really tempting, but um, we are doing the bulk of our damage from Decay and from uh, raw damage, so let's go ahead and take that energy. So we're on our second circle, moving at a pretty good clip. We do get to upgrade our main hero. This, is, this almost feels a little bit to me like... Um, monster train in that sense like you have a main hero and then you're uh, you know a lot of your deck building mechanics rely on like summoning other characters um gain 75 might damage of the next attack gain splash for two two seconds so we can just upgrade apply his 15 decay to all enemies i think we'll just upgrade the toxicity of our character we do have some money we should um make plans to go to a shop so let's go there we'll go to the the, the camp Oh, we can all we can summon the wolf. All right, let's summon the wolf. Let's see if the, the wolf is is worth their their you know merit. We could also move this guy into our ally. That'll do damage to them. That didn't do very much damage to the actual enemy. But anyway, we've got a wolf. Let's see if the wolf is is worth anything. They seem to be stacking quite a lot of decay right now. My goodness, they took almost all their health and damage. Uh, let's give them some armor. Maybe we can uh, get them to survive a little bit. No, they just died. My goodness, we are not doing so well right now. Um, so we got, for one turn, decay goes up by 10 when triggered. I don't think I can actually use this right now. Um, so I'm just going to... I, maybe if it would have if I had actually used it before I attacked some units. 
I won't lie, I'm, I'm not playing very well right now. But I guess we are kind of chewing through the, the bad. So her egg, the egg died, but then it came back as an egg again. That's pretty good. Oh, we could have summoned a middling golem. I think I want to get rid of that wolf. I don't think that they are actually worth their weight. Ooh, look at that. Apply 30 decay. So that is apply 30 decay on only one enemy. Whereas this is apply 20 decay on all enemies. Since we have the, the we do have the energy, I think I'd rather take that and we'll see if we can upgrade it. Um, what does this do? Upgraded. Transform and upgrade. Oh, and upgrade all of all cards in your hand. That's actually quite cool. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, what does this do? Upgraded. For two turns, decay goes up by 10 when triggered. All right, let's upgrade that because then I have a better chance of actually using that. Let's see if we can get some, get rid of some cards. Usually in the shop, you can um, remove some cards. Yeah, there it is right there. Let's get rid of the wolf. Listen, I'm sorry. I know it's, it's you know, bad plays are happening right now. It's, it is what it is. We'll remove, remove a might card and um, getting it rid of some of these slide cards. I don't think they're actually that helpful to me at least. Uh, give 50 mana, apply 5 haste. Uh, for 5 seconds, all attacks will hit all enemies for half of the damage. Well, that would have been kind of nice. Um, for, apply for, nah, I don't think any of these are actually that useful to us. Maybe give 50 mana, but uh, we're not really running a mana deck. Um, I think it would be a total fool to try an elite right now. Best to, you know, back up a bit. We'll do a card upgrade. Can we do apply 30 decay on all enemies? Yes, we'll do that. And um, I wouldn't mind drafting. I'm seeing a good route here where we'll have to go to a store and that won't really do much for us. Can we draft someone? Okay, what is this? Gain two infectious for three seconds. When the unit gets hit, the attacker receives decay. So this guy actually does play with decay. He is Swamp Alliance. So I guess we want Swamp cards. This is like a Stitch from Lilo, is, Lilo and Stitch. Tidalic? Tidalic maybe i don't know we didn't get any more money so we're not gonna be able to do anything here oh wait uh, we actually do have enough money to buy this apply 20 decay on all enemy or units in the target area that's actually quite nice um sure let's buy that it's only what makes it nice is it's only one mana for 20 decay seed of life what does that give us at the end of each battle restore 75 health to all allies well so we get more health basically all right, so we're, yeah, we're doing quite well right now. Um, we can do a queen slide. I guess we got a freebie queen slide. We'll move this guy into the other ally. So they both take a ton of damage. That was actually amazing. Uh, we'll do some more damage to the, I assume this is the big bad. He's got like a lot of health. This guy's actually got the most health. Um, Wondering can we move anyone else into anyone else it doesn't look like it. So we'll put some armor on our harpy I'm gonna assume that they are probably gonna take some damage right away We got rid of a bad guy pretty quickly that decay is doing work. I'll tell you what um, We'll apply 30 decay to all enemies Let's try our metamorphosis. What is this apply 20 decay apply three slow for three seconds? That is really good. I'll probably kill that guy right away. Yeah, he's taking 113 damage per turn now. But this guy is also a problem. Um, we'll do... Well, let's try this outbreak. I don't know if that actually worked. Oh, I guess... Okay, I see what it is. When it means when it says trigger it means every time they take damage from the decay they're they're gaining 10 decay so that actually is a really powerful card um select two units to swap tiles let's skip these not a huge fan of those we'll get another relic um the first card drawn at the beginning of each turn has its cost reduced by one this turn that's really nice actually um we can upgrade a card a non-hero unit. I probably should be trying harder to upgrade some units. Let's try and upgrade our our one dude that basically um, synergizes with our setup. 
We can give him another alliance and that'll mean he synergizes a bit more with other cards. What does this do? Puts one random ailment card in your hand. Sure, let's try that. I know we could have upgraded his like decay effect. Oh, this looks like death. I don't think this is going to work. So why, who is this lad? He seems to, Dueler Draugr. I don't know what his deal is. Um, we're gonna wanna swap out some cards maybe. Can we swap, no, I can't swap out that guy. Um, so let's do Outbreak. And uh, I guess we don't have a lot of choice here. We'll do Decay. That's gonna be great because uh, they'll, they'll take a, quite a lot of damage just like right away. And we can also move this guy into this guy doing some damage to both of them. And then we can also move this guy into this guy to do very little damage. I'm not sure I understand. I guess it's like the farther they move, the, uh, the more damage they take. So that dragger is dead now. Our, uh, her actual like allied dragger is not doing well. We'll do thinking ahead and we'll do apply to uh, 20 decay to all enemies. I'm um, just going to try my best to survive here. I don't hold out a lot of hope. TBH. They are taking some pretty nice um, decay damage though. Oh, maybe, maybe actually I'm totally fine. Do outbreak. And actually, yeah, we can just kill that guy. So I just got an achievement, apply 250 decay in one turn. We are a decay deck now. Apply one haste. Each point increases the attack by, that'd be kind of nice. Fast forward the battle clock two seconds. This seems like a good card. That basically allows you to take, you know, get more turns. At the beginning of each turn, apply 75 shield to a random ally. That's That seems really nice, actually. Um, we can swap back our Harpy. The, the, the Draugrs are basically worthless now. Um, we'll do Thinking Ahead. Apply Acid Rain, Acid Rain. We can do a Queen Slide. Um, this guy into this guy. They'll both take a little bit of damage. And yeah, I mean, we're basically done already. Um, yeah, we can, we can kill that guy right away. Um, I probably have enough of these. 20 decay on all enemies. I think I have enough of these. Uh, I actually think impatience would be better because that means we get to have more turns. And I mean, this is a pretty good first turn setup. We're going to do outbreak and we're going to do um, acid rain and they're immediately going to be taking a bunch of damage. Uh, we can also move these guys into this guy. Take a, We'll take a little bit of damage. See how that goes. Yeah, I mean, they're taking quite a lot of decay already. I guess the one bad thing about um, Impatience is that it actually means that they're going to be taking less the damage in some ways because... Oh, that applies... Does that apply decay on our dudes as well? That's probably not a great idea. Um, because our, our Outbreak, uh, I believe, is only good for two turns. I mean, that's enough, really. If they're not dead by two turns, then I think you're probably dead. So what do we got here? For six seconds, apply 15 might after every successful attack. Apply silence. Silence units can't use his skills or gain mana. Trigger the decay of all enemies. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's a great card there. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm playing gonna I'm gonna play it real safe. Um, remove a card. All allies gain 20 decay. That's really bad because I'm pretty sure our outbreak will mean that they take more damage. I think that outbreak is very uh, broad about its terminology. Let's let me see. Can I can I look at my deck? Yeah, here we go. The decay goes up by ten when triggered. I'm pretty sure that will affect our our character, so I'm not going to take that. Um, we'll upgrade a card. I'm going to upgrade the Surge. Seems like a good idea. Trigger the Decay of all enemies. Apply 10 Decay. Repeat times two. Stable. 
Stable cards do not get discarded at the end of turn. Oh my god, that's amazing. That means we're going to get to do that every single turn. It basically means we have a nuke every single turn. That's fantastic. Um, I'm already seeing some good stuff here. We're going to move this guy into that guy. That'll kill an enemy like right away. Um, we have thinking ahead. Unfortunately, we don't actually have anything that'll apply decay right now, but we have outbreak right now. I don't know if that does that get removed completely no actually it just gets discarded so that means you know it's not gone for good um i'm gonna use this shield on our or oh you know what we should probably eh i'm just gonna chance it metamorphosis give 50 mana i mean that's whatever so i'm, I'm kind of afraid of what this guy's about to do to us Um, I'm st I still don't have any decay cards. That's really bad. The good news is that we can apply decay the old-fashioned way by um, just throwing some on via raw damage. Um, and then we'll do surge. Oh, no, that's good. That's good. We, we, we've got decay on all... I, like, our, our main character also applies decay, right? So, you know, we're always going to have some decay. We really don't have to worry about it too much. They're summoning some baddies. For five seconds, the unit can't move. I don't know. Um, 20 decay on all enemies. 20 decay on all units. and So it does apply decay on our dude. That's something we need to be aware of. So I'd rather just do it to these two guys over here. We'll apply some might to our main character. We'll put do 125 damage to the big the big lad over there. He's taking 256 per round right now. What happened to our stable card that never gets discarded? What happens what happened to that? Did I not play it or something? Impatience. Yeah, we'll do uh, impatience. We'll do this. We're just gonna apply as much, um, as much, you know, decay as possible. He's taking quite a lot of damage right now. Uh, we'll put some more on him. Speed up the uh, the rounds. We'll change these cards. Why not? Pet slime or oh, we got the wolf card back. Good lord. Apply weak for zero seconds to all enemies. If the target had another ailment, apply zero decay. That seems like really worthless, but I guess I'll do it. So there's our surge card. Oh, I guess do not get discarded at the end of turn. So I guess if, if I don't play it, but I want to, I want to play it. So we're going to play it. We're very close to being done here. I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, I, I guess that guy's dead. We'll move this guy into this guy and we'll do, you know, give some damage. Our, our freaking uh, imp dude had like 300 shield. And we have done it. Now, um, here's the thing. This, uh, this game, I believe, has at least two or three rounds of this. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here. I think uh, I'd rather just show off the gameplay rather than uh, play out the the full game um, We'll go ahead and grab some stuff though drop plus one card every turn also reduce the turn cooldown Yeah, that seems really good for this build uh, I'm hey, I'm gonna finish this this playthrough in my own time, but I'd rather keep this video short and um, I, I just kind of showcase things like it's gonna get tougher and uh, you know, it does have meta progression but i think it's the good kind of meta progression where you're basically unlocking replayability rather than uh just kind of strengthening the uh power of your deck and so therefore you have to you know lose a few runs in order to uh actually win one um i won't i'll spare you my thoughts on that but you know in any case i think it's the good kind in my opinion um this game does a lot of things right hedian tactics it's uh, I, I think it's it's honestly one of those undiscovered gems and it's one that should be uh, considered if you're into auto chess mechanics, if you're into deck building mechanics, and if you just like roguelites in general, and if you, you, you need something with a bit of teeth. Um, honestly, like this and like Alina of the Arena are like some, a couple of my like top 
picks for like you know games that even if you're sick of the roguelite genre in general and i i am um i would still recommend these i would still definitely pick these up um yeah hadian tactics let me know what you think of it uh, in the comments and uh, if you enjoyed this video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing or more content like this and i'll see you guys next time take it easy